Hello, Sam Owens here uh, with another product that I'm going to review. This time it's a small narrow table that we're using next to our chairs to hold the lamp and coffee and what have you. It's just perfect being narrow and long to fit the space we needed. It comes with a drawer with a lot, little locking tab underneath, keeps it from coming out all the way. Got a shelf on the bottom and it's nicely finished and really makes a nice piece uh, in our foyer. I'm going to show you the assembly of this little small table, which uh, does not take very much at all. It's just a few screws, comes with a little Allen tool to do the job. And I'm going to show you some other things about it uh, as we put it together. And you too can uh, assemble this very easily. This is what you get in the package. It's all uh, wrapped up with protective uh, wrapping. And you get your drawer, your four legs, and your bottom shelf, your bottom shelf uh, holders, and your eight screws, and an Allen wrench uh, to handle tightening these up. Okay, we're going to go through the process of, uh, of putting it together. And uh, I suggest a bed with a cover over it would be a great way of protecting and not uh, scarring it up. Plus it's easier to work on uh, standing up like this than crawling around on the floor. <clears throat> this is your base where the legs are going to fit in here with two bolts, two bolts, and then on the other side, uh, two bolts on this side, two on that. And this is a track up for the, uh, the drawer. I've got it upside down and the drawer would be facing that way. Okay, <clears throat> let's start. First thing is we want to put the legs on. We'll start with this leg right here so you got a good view of it. Okay, we'll start with this one so you can probably see pretty good. Two screw uh, holes there that's threaded. And you take this leg, any one of them, and line it up in that little V and push it up there firmly. Take a bolt, I suggest going at the bottom. Your hand will go right in here if you're orientating it like this. And you just slide it through the hole and finger tight all the way up. You, can, you don't have to use the tool to screw this in. It's very easy. All you're gonna need the tool for is to tighten up the bolt at the end. I'm gonna wait till the end to tighten them all up. At the same time, I'll grab the tool and do it finger tight. Then I do the top one. Actually, this will be the bottom. And you're going to have the washers like they show in the instructions. And stick it right in there. And it should go easy. It shouldn't. You want to line it up so that it screws in easy. You don't want to cross thread it, so it's, if it's not easy, then work with it until you do get it. Where you can finger tight. Okay, now I'm going to take this one and pop it in. Again, push up. Take the bolt. On the bottom I go. Line it up in the holes and then Start working with your fingers and it'll go in very easy all the way in so you don't need the tool to do this part. Take on this one I did find that if I tighten the bottom too tight then it's difficult to uh, line up the top one so I've left the bottom a little loose and the rest of them I'm going to leave a little loose so I can wiggle around and get the screws started in the proper attitude. See, I just had to push out just a little bit and it'll get going. And twist and pull. And it should go in hand tight. <clears throat> Another thing about that. Okay, now I'm going to turn this around so you can see the other side. Again, I'm going to take the screw or bolt and here, I'm going to come around this way, pull it this way, and then find a place that my hand goes in better. And right here, 
is a better position. See, so work with it a little bit and you'll see what you got to do. All right, now again, I'm not going to tighten all the way down tight, so I got movement that I can line up the top screw. I found that's going to be important and make it a lot easier. A lot of times we learn things as we go along. See, I can push in a little bit and find the place where it'll go in easy, and then when you, you can go back and tighten them all down. Okay, there. Now, it's this one. Line it up. Actually, right here works good. Right in here. And it goes in real easy. Remember, I'm going to stop short of tightening down so I can get the top bolt in. I did notice I have to wiggle a little bit uh, or it gets uh, tight on the top one. Okay, push in a little bit and there it goes. Okay, all four of them are in there and uh, what we do now is go along with our tool and we tighten each one. I'm going to hand tighten as much as I can now that I got them together. Okay, and, it, and all you need is a couple of tightening turns. You can take your long end if you want and stick in there into the slot. It'd be good to have a, a light. And we're almost there. Lining these Allen uh, tool into the slot head is, is a little challenging sometimes, but that's after a couple of times you'll, you'll have it. Okay, she's nice and solid. The legs are installed. Now we want to take this. This is the bottom shell. Now it doesn't go that way. We want the finished side up. So you put the bottom side down in between here and line it up between the legs. And then just go on down. There's a hole right here, 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 and here that these little stops go. And they go either way. No, as long as the flat side is out, you just stick those in and leave them flat. Because they're going to hold that bottom shell. And we put this one in. And this one. Okay, and orientate so that the, these little guys are flat. Put your tool over. You don't want to set the top down on your tool. So make sure your tool gets out of the way. And then you can put this up. And look at it and make sure that you got the correct side pushed down. And there's your little shelf on the bottom. And here's the drawer slot. This is the little tab that, uh, uh, that keeps the drawer from coming all the way out. And to pull the drawer all the way out, you'd reach underneath and push that down, and then the drawer can come out. So the drawer just goes right in here in that slot, and then pull on it, and I push on that little tab if I want to take that. You have to look in there to see where the tab is, and see? I just pushed on it and it come out. Okay, there. And there's the table. Quite nice, huh? Uh, you could get other dimension tables and they will pretty much uh, assemble the same way. Easy enough for you to be able to do. You don't need any fancy tools. And uh, you can be proud of putting it together yourself. You can do it. Thanks for watching.